Hello pilots and welcome to a new video. Just recently I released my video about my first try of the 250 gram endurance challenge and in this video I was talking about the current sensor calibration of the plane that was slightly off and at this point I thought hey that's a good opportunity to make a video about how to properly calibrate your current sensor on your aircraft. This not only accounts for INAV fixed wing or multi-rotor, also for beta flight copter for example and other flight control software using the same multiplier and offset parameters. So um, there are different ways to uh, calibrate your current sensor. Some people or a lot of people recommend just checking how much power you put in uh, put back into your battery when you are charging it com and compare that with the value that was seen in the OSD during flight. I don't li like that idea because a lot of um, chargers are actually pretty inconsistent with their current readings. I have two ISDT chargers, one shows too high current, the other one shows too low current when charging and it also doesn't take into account the balancing current that's pulled out of the battery to balance these cells at the end of the charge. So the values you put in are not very accurate and you also have losses due to uh, heating while you are charging the battery. So what I like to do is just do a bench test. You throttle up, you measure the current uh, with an external parameter and compare that with INAV. You take multiple measurement points and then you go to the website from Darren Lines or Mr. D falling with style. There you just put in the measured values and with these values put into the website you will get the final result of your offset and the multipl multiplier. Yeah, without further ado, let me show you my setup and then we go into the measurement of at least one craft so I can show you the process. So this is my test setup. You see here my GoPro that's pointed at the power meter and this one is put into series with these two lithium polymer 5000 milliamp hour batteries. Uh, I put two batteries in parallel just to make sure they can deliver a stable current even at high power. These go into the battery lead of the ring and here you have the SpeedyB adapter V3 connected to the flight controller because I want to use the phone I'm currently filming with to see the INAV readings at the same time with the power meter and the phone will come here to be in the view of the GoPro. So let's do the test run. Here we now have the view of the GoPro and as soon as I arm the plane I have to confirm that I want to stay connected with the SpeedyB application. And then we can start to throttle up, first with a very slow throttle value and here you see the current values of the power meter and of INAV raising. And then I just do some stepped throttle up uh, and on every step I wait 3 or 4 seconds just to get a stable, uh, more or less stable reading. And I do that until I'm confident to have uh, covered a big range. No need, there's no need to go full throttle here, just make sure your plane and your equipment is secured and doesn't fall off your workbench. After this is done and we have our calibration values, we connect to the flight controller with the standard INAV configurator. Of course you can also do that in, uh, in the SpeedyB app if you are already connected. Then we switch to the configuration tab and check what our currently uh, current meter scale is. In this case it's default 317 of the flight controller and the offset is at zero right now. So we take that current meter scale that's currently in the flight controller and then we switch over to the calculator website from uh, Darren Lines here on MRD, MrDRC.com. And here you find under the useful tools section the INAV current sensor calibration tool. On this page you scroll down and here we have our table where we can input our values. In the in this field we put our current current sensor scale uh, we have. I had a little clipboard problem here so I typed it in manually. It's 317. And after that then we just fill out the table with our measurement values. So on one side are the flight controller readings and on the other side are the power meter readings.
When the table is completely filled and you have more measurement values, you can click here on add more results just to get a new line. And as more values uh, you input here, the more precise the calculation will be. At the end, we only click, we only have to click here on calculate the sensor values. And here you see the new scaling factor, that's 319. We can put that here in the field. And this is the current offset. And for INAV, we put that in millivolt, uh, measured milli millivolt. And for other firmwares, like for better flight, you have to use a milliamp offset actually. So in our case, it's INAV. So we use the minus 3.3 millivolt and put that here in the offset uh, value. And this should uh, move uh, uh, up or down, in this case, a little bit down every measured uh, current value so we get the most accurate results. At the end, we only have to click Save and Reboot. And after re the reboot, we already see that the base or the idle current is slightly higher than before. One thing to keep in mind here is that the idle current with no motor running on some flight controllers is not accurate at all. It's not possible to get that accurate because the measured voltage or the output voltage over the shunt resistor is just too low to be, to be measured by the flight controller correctly. And it might be that uh, it needs some minimum current just to start the reading. So only if you have some throttle, then the readings will be correct. Yeah, I hope you liked that video. If yes, please leave a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. And I will see you or hear you in the next one. Bye bye.